VF Jams Live, we are back. We are here with Sean Wright. Just killed that performance right now, Thank man. You, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. That was you. incredible. You. And uh, what, yeah, what was that composition? Uh, honestly, he asked me, yo, what do you want? And I said, listen, come be the sage, like mentor, big bro, all that stuff in one. I was just like, hey, man, you know me best. So just make something you think that sounds good. I sound good on. And that's what he came up with. Well, I mean, basically, he, he he plays from a musical standpoint. Yeah. So my idea was that I, I wanted him, I wanted him to be, I mean, because he, you know, every time you see a video of him, he's, you know, especially the Zildjian videos that's, that's been posted here recently, you can really hear the musicality in his playing. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, well, people have heard that, but I kind of want to bring it to a live form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so... Um, he told me what kind of tune he wanted, kind of wanted to do, and we kind of just, I threw some stuff together, and I gave it, and I, I kind of gave it, it's uh, a, a demo. I did like I did like a demo that kind of had drums in it, but then I was like, <laughs> I sent him something without the drums in it, and then I was like, listen to this, tell me what you think about it, and then and he sent it back to me. He 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 like chopped it up the way he wanted it to go. Mm -hmm. And he sent it back to me. And um, so the idea, so I mean, it was basically, it was an idea that I I presented for him, to mm -hmm. him, yeah. that he actually kind of pieced together too yeah. as well. So it was something that he wanted to play, you know, in the end. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to do something musical, something that showcases musicality the most. Yeah. Cause I mean, a lot, a lot of guys his age don't do that. Right. <laughs> so honestly, so I was, <laughs> As you get a cough drop, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? But yeah, so I mean, a lot, a lot of you know, a lot of the young cats don't really embrace the musicality side of of of, of drumming, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you know, a lot, a lot of times, you know, grooving gets left out. You know, a lot right. of guys can they can chop and they can solo amazingly, like acrobats, you know, but you know, the music the actual song gets left out. Yeah. You know, and that's the cool thing about this is it's a squad. We got a squad. We call it it's him, is 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 Alvin Ford, and it's Carlin White. And they all played on the VF Jams this year. But uh these are my boys. This is my squad. And and I, I really appreciate the way they approach music coming from their drama because, mm. you know, it's 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 cool to see that. You yeah. know, because a lot of times, like I said, like musicality is left out. Yeah. In this generation, a whole lot. So, I just wanted to, you know, him to express that, and I think he did that. Yeah, you did an amazing job playing it, and uh, love the song "Sput," killing it on um, all these videos with everybody, as always. Yeah, two year two, man. This one was crazy because I had to write thirteen songs. <laughs> That's a lot of songs. Sheesh. Like, I mean, like you'll see it between the, you know, two different things, two different things, but. I had to do it in a row in 13 yeah. songs, so I had to get out of my own head and yeah. just kind of channel each drummer and that. So that was kind of fun, but it was definitely stressful. Yeah, we talked know? on the phone like two months ago, and you yeah. were already starting starting to work on the project. Yeah. I was almost yeah, I was almost like not wanting to talk to nobody for a while. I was yeah. Like, yeah, don't call me. Don't get mad if I don't answer emails. Well, it's some pretty Texas. sophisticated music you're yeah. writing too. It takes longer than the average song, I'm sure. Yeah. And um, my, of course, you can tell Sean is sick. By the way, he did that. He just oh got gosh. back from the Middle East, came straight to the filming, and you didn't even get to play. The track on I haven't drums. played the track at all. So you just air drum ideas. Yeah, because we got back home, you went to you went to Florida, I went to Florida, right? and then usually okay, well usually when I'm in Miami, uh, I get to at least play at my dad's church. My dad's transitioning buildings right now, so the drums are not set up. So I literally did play since the tour. <coughs> excuse me, since the tour ended uh, that I did Jingle Ball tour ended in like December twentieth, yeah. and I haven't touched drums until the Middle East gig. So yeah, I didn't touch the song at all. <laughs> yeah, you sound well, great, bro. Man, yeah. <laughs> man, thank you. We didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> Seemed blazing to me. Hey man, he he paved the way, man. He just made a song that was just home free for me, you know? So yeah. it made it easy. Yeah, well, you guys know each other so well, and mm -hmm. I'm sure you can just kind of create the palette for you to paint on top of. He, like, he says it so formal, like, like, like he was like, oh yeah, he pitched this together, yo. He called me, I was like, yo, this is fire, yo. I was tripping, <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I, was, I was hoping he liked it because, I mean, like I said, it's like a whole bunch of songs to write. And, you know, it's like, I was hoping that if he didn't like it, somebody else would. But 
It was written for him. <laughs> <laughs> you, definitely you, were, like, you were first. first I was first, like, first, it was case, it was yeah. written for him. So I mean, but the thing is, you know, like with Sean, we go we go back a ways. But I I recognize him doing. He was doing. It was right. Before, it was before you went to Berkeley. It was right before you went to Berkeley, and. uh I just, man, it's like I said, like, you know, been in the game for a while as a drummer. You know, today I'm a keyboard. I get to be a keyboard player and watch these guys. But as a drummer, being, it's it's just so gratifying to hear other guys approach drums with from a music standpoint. Yeah. And he, he was doing that when he was 18 years old, you know. And then he went to Berkeley, and you got the not You put the knowledge with that. You put the education with that and you add all of that to tech you know, he's now he's able to express and understand what he's playing. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And uh um, we ever how it comes and we like we just I think I hit you up on social media the first time we met. But uh we just been cool ever since, you know, yeah. and it's just one of those things where, you know, whatever I can give him, I try to give him. But the dude is like taking the mantle and just like people like him and Alvin and like I said, you know, there's a couple few others, Cleon Edwards, Tehran. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Lockett mm -hmm. uh, Carl and White Those guys are like They're taking the mantle And they're keeping that musicality In there Yeah And that's that, That's the beautiful It's that's really because We all listen to him Yeah Sorry I got yeah. to I had yeah. to that's Hey well, well it's a great circle of friends So I enjoy watching man. Yeah. <laughs> well, Squat <laughs> All right, well, everybody, please make some noise. But, Sean, great job, you guys. Thank you again so much, man. Hell yeah. Hope you feel better, bro.